Hello everyone, uh, I received uh, too many emails from uh, students and researchers asking about what is the difference between prior and posterior probabilities when we talk about Bayesian network. So this uh, short uh, video tutorial will definitely help you. Before I jump into these definitions of prior and the posterior, you need to understand something what is called as the conditional probability. So this is a very typical definition of the conditional probability that you can find in any literature that a conditional probability is the probability which uh, in, in layman language we called as the chances of one event let's say B conditional or you can say that in a layman language that dependent on the occurrence of another event A. So it could be any other event, uh, let's say C, D, E. I just took an example of A and B here. So it is written as the probability of the B given that A. And you can also read it like the probability of B given A. There is a formula that we use uh, for uh, this uh, probability which is called probability of B given that A is equals to the probability of uh, B and A over the probability of A. I will come to these terms in my next couple of slides. So this one here, this is my probability of A and B occurring. The order does not matter here. You can also write down probability of the B and A occurring because that is something as an intersection between A and the B. So let's say I write down A and the B here. Now just keep in mind your probability of the A should always be greater than 0. So this is the formula that we were talking about in our previous slide. And as I mentioned you that this term we can also write down similar to this. So these two terms are the same. Now what is the difference between these two formulas here? This formula is probability of the B given that A and this formula here is probability of the A event given that B. And these two terms are the same. So if I equate these two terms, I can uh, say that my probability of the B given A by this formula will become, this is the probability of the A given that B and the probability of the B will be multiplied to this and this is uh, my above uh, the division and the bottom one part probability of the A will come as such. Folks, uh, this uh, formula is what we call as the base theorem in Bayesian network analysis. So how do we read it? It says that the probability of uh, some event B given A is equivalent to the probability of the A given B event multiplied by the probability of the B over or divided by the probability of A. You don't need to memorize uh, this statement. If you look on this uh, formula only, you can easily read it uh, at any given situation. So let me read it from this formula. So the probability of the B given that A is equal to probability of the A given that B multiplied by probability of the B divided by the probability of A and that's what we call as a Bayes theorem. This is one of the practical uh, applications that we use in our Bayesian network analysis. Now I will come back to my original question. How do you differentiate between the posterior and the prior probabilities. So this was the Bayes theorem that I showed you in my previous slide. Now in this Bayes theorem, this term, which is the probability of B event given A, is what we call as a posterior probability. The term which is uh, above uh, the division is in the blue color, probability of the A given that B, it is called as the likelihood in Bayes theorem and the probability of B is what we call as the prior probability. So let's define these two terms. So posterior refers to the probability obtained after evidence, which we call as data, 
has been taken into consideration. Whereas prior refers to the probability before the evidence or the data has been taken into consideration. So what does it mean basically? When we have considered our evidence into our calculations, that is uh, what we call as the posterior probability. So there are three things, not two. So the one is, is the prior probability. And the second term is the posterior probability. Now between these two, we must have some new evidence in order to identify what will be my posterior probability because it is coming after an evidence or the new information or the new data has been introduced into our analysis. Whereas the prior probability is something which is before introducing our evidence into our system. So we can say that we can change our belief or hypothesis after we have new information on data. So this statement is one of the most uh, important statement in Bayesian network analysis and this statement is the reason that Bayesian network is being used in too many fields just like engineering, medical, everywhere. Why? Because it helps to understand or it helps to update our belief after we have the new information available on our system. Now let me go next and explain a little bit more details. With an example here. It is a very simple example. I did not choose any engineering example here. My idea is just to explain you what does the prior and posterior means in Bayesian network analysis? So in my example, it is saying that suppose Mike wants to go outside, but is uncertain if it will rain or not. So this is what uh, we are wondering. Let's say Mike uh, looked at historical data and discovered that six out of uh, 30 days in this month are typically wet. So what is the probability of wet? It is six out of 30 which is going to be 0 0.2. So therefore, the likelihood of the rain in this situation would be 0 0.2 or 20%. Let's assume, let's also assume that morning clouds are typical with 45% of the days beginning with them. So that there are 45% of the days have the cloud. Furthermore, 60% of the rain days begin with clouds. What are the probabilities of rain if the morning is cloudy? So that is what is our objective that we want to find out the probability of the rain if the morning is cloudy. So what we did here, this is my Bayes theorem as we discussed uh, earlier. So let's say I give the event B as a rain and event A as a cloud. So the probability of the rain as we saw was uh, 0 0.2. This is what I am calling it as a prior probability. Because if I take you to back to my statement here, the likelihood of the rain in this situation would be 20% or 0.2 in terms of probability. So this was our prior probability that our likelihood of the rain will be 0.2. Now let's go to the next term which is the A, probability of the A, that the probability of the clouds uh, present it is 0 0.45. Again it is coming from our statement where we are saying that the morning clouds are typical with 45% of the days beginning with them. So the clouds are indicated here as a 45% which is taken as the P of A. And we are looking to find out our posterior probability, which is the probability of the rain occurring given that the morning is cloudy. If I take you back to my statement here, this is what is we are looking for this. And in terms of uh, probability of the A given that B, 
it is the probability of the clouds given that it is a rainy day that is what is our likelihood function sorry likelihood value it is 0.6 so what we did we just plug in the values into the Bayes theorem and we find out that our posterior probability which is the probability of uh, B which is rain given that we have the clouds which is A is turns out to be 0 0.27 now note down here this was my prior probability which was 0 0.2 and with the new information and what is the new information the new information is that we have the cloudy days and it's on the rainy day as we understand from our statement so my prior probability of 0.2 or 20 percent has been increased to 0 0.27 or 27 percent when i have the new information available so that means once we have more information about the system the Bayes theorem allows us to update our belief so this is one of uh, the reason that Bayesian network is being applied in too many fields so I hope uh, this is uh, clear what is the difference between prior and posterior probability I did not take very complicated example but a, but a very simple example to show you how we calculate our posterior probabilities given that we have our prior probability now this is my email address if you have any questions you are welcome to email me and i will try responding to your queries i hope this helped thank you